my baby he's still alive Dina <laughs> whatever I gave him a nice bath and put him to bed go, uh, go enjoy yourself yeah I'm trying hey listen we might be here a little later is that okay enjoy yourself okay thank you girl bye <laughs> listen do not give my son any NyQuil okay Dina, you're back. Yeah. Here, you need a refill. Uh, no, I'm fine. Baby, loosen up. Drink. Baby, look at this. Hmm. You remember Rashad? Yeah, of course I do. Meredith? <sighs> well, it's actually Mercedes now. <laughs> Mercedes. Yeah. She just sent a friend request. Mm hmm. She just DM'd me. Malcolm, it's been a while. Rashad and I, well, we are married. Surprise. Married? We recently <sighs> moved back into town and would love to reconnect with you and Dina. Let's set up a date. We would love to see you too. <laughs> Rashad and Meredith. Wow. What's so wow about it? I mean, I, I don't believe it. So, this thing between you two. What thing? You know there's a name for this thing. They call it marriage. Ah, okay. Is that what it's called? All right, well, thank you for enlightening me. But, last I remember, you two hated each other in college. Whoa, hate is a real strong word, bruh. Okay, well, strongly disliked each other. No. Hate is accurate. No, what Dina said is accurate. I just... I didn't think he was going anywhere. He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. But I figured it out, though. Yeah, you definitely got it figured out. So, when did you two, you know? What? Have sex? <laughs> Girl, just say it. <laughs> well, I guess I just never really saw you all together. We hit it well, <laughs> didn't we? So, Meredith, why'd you change your name? The Law of Attraction. Excuse me? I read this book some years ago called The Secret, and there was this quote that changed my life. It said, your thoughts become things. I wanted a Mercedes, so I changed my name. That's crazy. No, that's the Law of Attraction. Whatever you focus on, think about, read about, and talk about intensely, you're going to attract it. And I got my cherry red Mercedes Maybach with the champagne interior. Baby, what? what? <laughs> Whatever you desire can be yours. Is that right? Yeah, uh, that's right. Shoot, I was all she thought about <laughs> back to college. Whatever, you know I wasn't paying you any attention. <laughs> all right, all right, real talk though. Do y'all remember we all went bowling that one night back in college? It was what, junior year, fall semester, right after finals? Yes. Yes. 
Kareem bowled a perfect game. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Kareem did bowl a perfect game. And she couldn't resist my perfect game. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, but check this, check this. We had sex that night in her car. Oh my God, you lied to me. You said you were sick and you left, but you were outside? Girl, yes. Having the best sex of my life. Ooh, of her life. Okay, now. Okay, stop. Stop. Stop! I'm sorry. Babe, I'm just trying to connect. Come on. We need to connect. Just... It's not like this. I'm not going. Going where? To Rashad and Mercedes' dinner. <laughs> oh, we're going. Did you sleep with her? <laughs> the good days. Stories I may never ever tell. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, college was fun. Man. It was fun. It was fun. A lot of good days, right? A lot of good days. Mm hmm Did you ever go to class? No. <laughs> no. All the time. I never would either. <laughs> oh yeah, you used to skip together. Thank you. Of course. That's, that's fine. All right, don't overdo it. <laughs> so, what about you two? Mm, what about us? <laughs> Yo, Malcolm was trying hard to get at Dina. <sighs> nah, bruh. It was the other way around. No, Rashad had it right. <laughs> I thought you were lame with no game. <laughs> <laughs> None at all. <laughs> I got you, though. Barely. How did he get you? His spirit. I thought he was genuine. What else? I don't know. Whatever, girl. You know, a woman never forgets. Come on, dear. Don't be like that. I said I don't know. Well, fine, then. I'm gonna tell you a little something about Malcolm that I bet you didn't know, Dina. Look, look, I remember Malcolm, right? Coming back after his first date with you. What did you say? Really, bro? I'm not talking about this. Yeah, you don't know, we going there. What did you say? I said, <laughs> I said I would marry her. Yeah, but that ain't all, though. Look, look, look. <laughs> I remember Malcolm coming back after that first day. He looked me dead in my eyes and said, Dina is the one. Dina is the one. And he was dead serious, too. Aw, you're married. How many years now? Nine. Ten years. Ten years? Ten years? Ten years of my life I gave you, Malcolm, and for what? For Dina, what? Dina, for what, Malcolm? Tina, I gotta work in the morning. You wanna wake the baby with this foolishness? Did you sleep with her? Tell me the truth, did you sleep with her? Dina? I what I wasn't enough. I wasn't enough for you. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> what you gonna do, huh? You gonna hit me? When it hit me then, Malcolm, hit me. What's your problem, huh? <laughs> I provide for you. I never cheated on you. I even put up with your foolishness. 
and you stuck on something from the past that never happened. Never. <laughs> I'm here. What more do you want from me? I'm here. Being here ain't enough, Malcolm. It's not enough. I need more. <laughs> I need more money. <laughs> Let's toast to longevity. All right, y'all, how about we go over here and get comfortable? Malcolm, please tell me you remember Rick's bar. Man, how could I forget Rick's with the sticky floors? <laughs> That's right, Rick's with the sticky floors. Yo, Dina, don't let your man fool you. He used to cut it up on the dance floor back in the day. This was his move. It can be like old times. What do you mean? You know what I mean. What the hell are you doing? What's the matter with you? You was feeling it. Feeling it? Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> Dina, open the door. Dina. <sighs> Have you gone crazy? Embarrassing me like that? Embarrassing you? Please! She's trying to sleep with you and Rashad is trying to sleep with me. You can't see that? Or maybe this is your way of trying to connect. Hmm? Are you serious? Listen to yourself. What? That's crazy. What? Are you oblivious? You're crazy. Come on, are you oblivious to everything that's been going on tonight? The drinks. The glances. The subliminal conversations? Come on, Dina. I need you to be honest with me. Be honest with me. Did you sleep with Mary? Baby, I swear. I did not. Do you want to? Do you still want to? No. You're lying. Max was, when Max was born, I remember coming home. I felt so, 
I didn't recognize myself. I didn't recognize my body. I still don't. One night you were laying on the bed and I left my towel on the bed and I walked out fully naked and you looked at me but not like you used to. You looked me in my eyes and you forced yourself not to look at my body. You don't make love to me the same. Baby, you, you are so distant. <laughs> and I don't know what I did to you that was so horrible. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I know it's been rough. Max is a handful, money is tight, but I promise you. Baby, that, this, all of this, the way that you are looking at me right now, oh my God. You haven't looked at me like this in fact. I have fallen, I have fallen further than I had before But now I'm crawling and I don't have the strength to get up off that floor To have and to hold from this day forward For better, for worse, for richer, for poor In sickness and in health To love and to cherish Till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, I pledge myself to you. This is not the right time to be doing this. Adam, what emotions are you feeling today? Withdrawn. What do you fear the most? Fear. I never said I feared anything. I fear God. Um, I guess I'm scared of losing everything in this divorce. You know, my daughter, my house, my money, everything that I've worked hard for. And your wife? Ashley. What about her? I'm good. Do you fear losing her as well? I told you, man, I don't want her. She cheated on me, man. I, I can't lose anything that I don't care about. Your daughter Tara, how is she taking all of this? Not well. Uh, she knows mommy and daddy are getting a D word, so to speak. Adam, what are you doing here? Oh, I, I didn't see a car outside. But... I thought I 
asked you to call before you stopped by. <laughs> Ashley, I don't need permission to do anything. Did you forget this was my house too? Okay. This is your house, but you moved out. I mean, I could be in here in the shower or something. I wouldn't want you to walk in on me. <sighs> Where's Tar? She's with my mom. But you never told me, what are you doing here? Did you sign the papers? I'm uh, still reading over them. It does not take that long, Ashley. Just read them and get done with it. <sighs> Just read them and sign them and get over it, man. Don't make a career out of this. Adam, is this really what you want? To just end our marriage? No, no, I didn't. You ended the marriage when you cheated with Derek. I, on the other hand, wanted to be married. So when are you moving out? Look, I'm trying to move as fast as I can, but it's kind of hard doing everything by myself. <laughs> Your boo Derek won't help you. Look, oh. Adam, I'm just trying to have a conversation. I need to know how you feel, but you never- How I feel? How about if I cheated on you, Ashley? Huh? My man, what you doing to my- Adam, let me explain. Oh, so this is Derek? Adam, let this, me- I'm just trying to help her move, move, man. What's your Stop. problem? Huh? Let her go, man. What's your problem, bro? You know what, huh? What's your problem, huh? Some water, some, uh, uh, ice pack, I don't know. Come here, come here, come here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's it. I lost my cold. I love you. Please. Don't. Okay. All right. This right here, we can get through. What is it that you want from this? We are not together anymore. Fine. But I want Adam to be a father to our daughter and stop neglecting her. She's asking for me to watch our daughter while she goes out with Derek. And, I, and that's, that's not cool, man. I need your help raising our daughter. I mean, Derek has nothing to do with you being a father. And what you think I don't know about Sharon? Okay, what about it? What about Sharon? You have her around our daughter, and that's foul. Tar can't even tell you what Derek looks like. I've never had him around our daughter. And Derek and I aren't like that anymore. So, Adam, what is it that you want from your wife? That's not my wife. Did the judge grant you a divorce? No. So what is it that you want from this? I just want to be happy, man. What does happiness look like to you? Look, man, I want to get a divorce. And we can go our separate ways, and then I can be happy. Wait, weren't you the one who said, don't hold on to things that remind us of past hurts? Those were your words, right? You're taking what I said out of context. I never told you to divorce your wife. Baby, please don't throw this away. Look, I want to give us a second chance. I never stopped. I'm not trying to hear this. Then what did you bring me here for? Yeah, Adam, what was this all What was this all for? Because you think I'm crazy. So I brought her so you can see that it's her and not me. No, I don't think you're crazy. I just think... Bruh, you tried to make me out to be something that I wasn't, man. I'm not depressed. So you offer me pills? Why? Right. So in the meantime, you can take these pills and you take these pills because clearly y'all are the sick ones, not me. I'm done. Make you as happy as you make me. Dinner was amazing, but I know you didn't cook that. Okay, wow. Hate? <laughs> okay, all right, look. I didn't cook it, but I, I prepared it and, oh. and served it, you know, made it look good. So, I mean, hopefully you don't hold that against me, you know, when you make your decision. What decision? <laughs> hmm, baby. I truly love you, and I, I love you more and more every day. I do. Mm. <sighs> what, 
Would you make me the happiest man in the world and by being my wife? Wait, Adam, wait, 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 what, what? Adam, okay. this is all fun. That's all it is. It's just fun. Every conversation that we have, we talk about your ex-wife. I do care for you. And I know that you're hurting. And I know that you still love her. And as long as you do, we can never have any type of healthy relationship. Okay, okay, all right. Um, I didn't mean that. I, I, the way I pictured that happening was not the way it came out. So I apologize. I, I don't mind following your lead. I, what, what, what would you like to do? I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I, I thought that was right. I, I thought that's what I really felt. I do, but we don't have to accelerate the process like that. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I, I, I can't lose you. You need time. Take your time. I should go. You know, Adam, I gotta admit, you threw Tara a really great birthday party. Thanks, and thank you for all your help. Seriously, co-parent. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna kiss Tara goodnight, because I gotta work in the morning, so I'll see you next weekend. Ash, can I ask you something? Where did I go wrong? At what point did you decide that you didn't want me anymore. Let's not do this. It's been a really beautiful day, so we should just leave it there. I forgive you. I admit I was wrong for what I did. But you cheated on me long before Derek came along. That's not true. I hooked up with Sharon after you got with Derek. No, hear me out. You cheated on me with your job and fantasy football, the band, your family, your friends. All those things came before me. You even put our daughter in a place that should have been reserved for me. In the end, we didn't have a relationship or a happy marriage. You made me your roommate. You even cheated on God. I mean, every Sunday, me and Tara had to go to church and make excuses why you weren't there. Why didn't you ever say anything? I always did. And you kept promising to make more time. Come on now. You know I took you and Tara on some extravagant trips. I did. Every anniversary. But that only came once a year. And even there, you were distant. I'm sorry. I guess I was trying to be the best at everything. And you were. You were the best at everything that mattered to you. And I needed to feel loved and wanted. And I did the wrong thing. Um, I really should get going. So it, it all starts with figuring out those past mistakes, you know? Like once you can figure out what mistakes you made, you can work towards correcting those and avoiding them, all right? So I mean, if there's anything that you take away from what I said in the past eight weeks, let it be this. Love is a commitment and a choice. It's not a feeling. And love also has no room for pride, all right? So 
don't don't be afraid to apologize and most importantly never be too proud to accept an apology and I look directly at you because us as men we have ego so I I truly wish you guys the best on your marriage and I know God has his hands on you so good luck times do I have to tell you that's not how it works? Hey, well, if I had one, man, that's how it would work. Look, that's why you're not married now. Look, I got to go. You know, Joy is already in there, and I'm late. All right, brother. I'll be praying for you. Yeah, whatever, man. I appreciate it, though. Bye. Sorry, I, I got held up. What was it this time? You know what? Don't even answer. You wanted to do this. The least you could have done was be on time. I said I'm sorry. Get over it. Uh, Jake! Hey, hey, what's up, Bishop? <laughs> How you good, doing, man? man? I'm good. How are you? All right. Good. 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 See, man. Thanks for fitting us in this morning. Yeah, no so, you two know each other? Yeah, yeah. I told you. Remember? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Follow me. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, watch your head. Yeah, y'all uh, really went all out for Halloween this year. Yeah, the decorations are crazy. Yeah, man. Let's come on through here. Okay. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. All right. Please, please, have a seat. Cool, yeah. So, Jake, I ain't seen you in a minute, man, since you moved to Atlanta. Yeah, you know, it's been a minute, you know? When did you move back? A few months ago, you know, Joy's up here for a project. Okay. I'm sorry, how do you two know each other? We grew up together. <laughs> Before Jake got all Hollywood on us. <laughs> you did your thing in Twisted Ways. Yeah, that was, that was like five years ago, <laughs> but you know. So. Wait, Jake, Jake didn't tell you about me? No, no he did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. Typical Jake, always distracted. That's for sure. Look, Titus and, and I were worship leaders at my dad's church. He played the keys and I played the drums. And one day I went off to follow my dreams and he stayed and followed his. Well, you know your dad always wanted you to take over the church. Yeah, it wasn't my calling. It's good to see you. Uh, shall we get started? Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are here for marriage counseling. Uh, normally, I would recommend counseling before the marriage, but I'm also a proponent of counseling throughout the marriage as necessary to ensure a healthy, vibrant relationship between husband, wife, and God. Allah. Excuse me? Allah. She's a Muslim. Oh. Is that an issue? Nah. So how will your sessions work? The sessions are gonna be a safe, confidential environment for you guys to share. I'll be here to listen, offer guidance, and be a neutral mediator. I'm not sure how neutral you can be seeing that y'all know each other so well. Let's just start off with a couple introductory questions. Sounds good to me. How long have you been married? Five years. Well, uh, five years, but we've been together for, for 10. Where'd you two meet? You, you want me to tell them? Oh, now you want my input. We met on set. 
Yeah, I was doing a few episodes of a series that she was producing in Atlanta. Okay. And we locked eyes. Music started playing. Birds were chirping, and here we are. You sound like a Disney movie. Uh, well, except both of our parents are still alive. <laughs> How would you rate your marriage? You, you out of ten? Sure. Um. Hey, I'd say a six. So generous. <laughs> Remember, honesty is the only way for you to begin to move towards having a healthy marriage. Right, and it was a subjective question. Joy, how would you rate the marriage? A very subjective four, and that's me being generous. Uh, there's a couple things I want you guys to do before the next session. Wait, you, you giving us homework? If you want things to get better, which I believe you do, because you're here, you're going to have to make an effort. And that means putting in some work. Yeah, right, right. I want you to think about why you rated the marriage the way that you did and write it down. Don't share it with each other. Just write it down, be honest and truthful, and we'll discuss it in our next session. Okay. Well, it was nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Oh, wow, real? She just go. I'll hit you up now. I'm sorry about that. Joy. 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 Why are we here, Jacob, huh? This is what you wanted. No, this is what you wanted. That's why you have us in here meeting with your homeboy. Yo, Jake, why did y'all really come see me? Marriage is not just about sex. Look, all I know is before we got married, we were having sex nonstop, and it was great. Then we get married and, well, you know. Are you serious? Yep. Joy, how does what Jake said make you feel? Well, you said be honest and truthful about why I rated the marriage a four. I just feel like I get blamed for everything. For why his career went south, why we don't communicate, for why we don't have sex, why we don't do anything together. It's always me. He never takes any responsibility for our problems. That's not true. Jake, you also got to realize this. In order for a marriage to work, both of you have to be equally yoked. I thought you were going to be neutral with all of the religious talk. I understand the religious beliefs, but unless... Don't, don't, just don't even go I'm there. aware of the similarities. All I'm saying is... I know what you're saying, Titus. I've already heard it. I don't need to hear it from you, too. I'm just here to do my due diligence. I'd be doing you to a disservice if I didn't state the obvious issue here. I knew this was a mistake. <laughs> Look, I'm not focused on your religious beliefs. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's also not frowned upon. So then why the lecture? Joy, you believe marriage should be realized and expressed through legal marriage, and you too have that. But you also feel it should be protected through Islamic law, and I'm not sure if that's the case. But Jake, you use the Bible to justify the necessity for sex throughout the marriage, but you fail to realize that there's text in there that requires you to be respectful and considerate, and also love yourself as you do her unconditionally. Right, I, I get it. Marriage is a covenant. You don't get it. Marriage is more than just an agreement. And I'm afraid that this marriage, yours, will not heal until you come to the terms of one thing. Why you said I do. Joy, you look like you're thinking. You care to share? I love Jacob. I'm just tired of being the only one trying to make things work. But I am trying. Wait, let her speak. Thank you. This isn't our first go at therapy. In fact, we did everything we were told to. And then as soon as it was over, so was the effort. And we went right back to the drama. We're not even living together right now. Oh, whoa, whoa. That, that was your decision. Look, I want a marriage filled with peace and tranquility. And I just... Hold on, what, what are you saying? <sighs> I'm saying, I don't think I can have that with you, Jacob. This marriage is just too dysfunctional, and I think we need to just part ways. Wait, let's think about what's being said here before we go to the extreme. Well, Pastor, I believe your Bible says if I want to leave, I can. I think divorce is the easy way out. Look, marriage isn't easy, but overcoming challenges enhances the sanctity of marriage and allows you two to thrive. If she want to leave, let her leave. Oh, she's right. 
I'm selfish, and I don't deserve her. So if you want to go, go. Jay. Finally, something truthful. <laughs> wow, I thought you were good at this. <laughs> That's got to get warmed up. Getting warmed up. This is like two games in. You still getting warmed up? <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to call it. You know, I, uh, I really did forget how much you enjoy playing this. Yeah, I appreciate you taking some interest in an activity of my choosing. <laughs> well, does it still count if I, uh, if I win? Oh, so competitive. Well, I am, uh, I am playing for your heart. And so corny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess that was as bad bad as that shot you just took. <laughs> you know, I um, I don't know what I would do if you left me. Are you just saying things to impress? I would think at this point in our sessions, the butt kissing is over. Well, this is Jake we're talking about. Wow, wow. <laughs> you two are doing great. Yeah, so what's the point of all this? For you two to re-experience the joys of being together and sharing some things that you both like. Right, I, I get that, but what's the point of this? Like. You sitting there watching us is a little bit creepy. As much as I agree with Jake here, we are still fighting for our marriage. Right, hey, I'm, I'm just saying. Say less to me and more to your wife. Look, he's just trying to distract from the fact that I am winning. Not playing like that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, watch this shot. Oh, please. I, I saw that going different. <laughs> I appreciate what you two have done. It's been a long, rough 10 weeks. <laughs> I understand you moving back to Atlanta. That's a great thing. And we're done here. But you know, that's where the real work is going to begin. Yeah, I, um, I recognize that I made a lot, of, a lot of mistakes, but I'm willing to make better choices to, to honor our marriage. It's definitely a start of moving forward. I appreciate your willingness, and I just hope the effort is there as well. Well, remember, you want to speak with a positive mindset, not negative. I just worry that when we leave, things will go back to the way that they were before. Yes, but you also have to sow what you want to harvest. And, and I want us to work. I do too. Now is a good time to share your final task. I want you to face each other and tell each other why you said I do. Right now? I assigned this weeks ago. <laughs> I, I know, I just, I just thought that. Jacob, would... it's just me and you. No camera, no crews, no fans, just us. from the, the first time I laid eyes on you that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. There wasn't anything or anybody that could deny the love that I had for you in my heart. <laughs> you see me for who I am and you believe in me and you, you push me to be the best that I can be, to go beyond personal limitations. And you took my brokenness my imperfections, my stubbornness, and my complicated self, and you loved me unconditionally. And you're so, so funny and so kind and so giving and selfless and, and just beautiful inside and out. You're my heart. You're the best part of me. I said I do because I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. You were always un, but with me, you were genuine, true, and yourself. You didn't let any obstacles deter you from what you wanted out of life. I knew we had something special, 
because I was willing to do whatever it took to sustain the love and the passion that we had between us. Because I knew I loved you and I knew that I could love no one else. Now here's my challenge for you two. Don't live like you said I do five years ago. That's in the past. And there are good experiences and bad experiences from then that you can't even, you can't relive that. What I want you to do, live each day like it's the first time you stood across from each other and said I do. Make new memories. Cherish new moments. I have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. Sitting in my favorite chair Thinking about My least favorite thing About you Did you ever wonder Why I like to sit here Well baby Aside from Just the rolls, Ma. Ma, I have everything else. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, I will. Uh-huh. Yep. Bye. May have used the last of it. We have milk. I like my French vanilla. <laughs> so, you threw creamer in the trash and didn't recycle the plastic. Well, guess I've been bad. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. That's enough. <laughs> this mess. I still haven't done my hair. You need to go set up that thing for the kids. We promised them it'd be ready today. What time does it all start anyway? 1.30. 1.30? Yeah. It's like three hours from now. Well, that's plenty of time. Oh my god. You know what? <laughs> Just get out of here. <laughs> go! Or what? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Sorry. <laughs> here. Uh, by the way, there's still a basket of your clean clothes that isn't put away just sitting in the hall. Oh, how could I forget? That's what that is. <laughs> I guess so. Got this. 
this. Thank you, sweetheart. Where would you like this? Oh God, I'll take it to the kitchen. I tried to stop her. Thank what was you. that? Nothing. 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 Give me this. Thank you. Thank Gotta you. get you two something to drink. Just a small glass of red for both of us, okay? Scotch, neat, no twist. The house looks beautiful, honey. Thanks, Ma. Did you cut your hair? A while ago. Why? Nothing. It looks nice. Does uh, Brian like it? I love it. It's like having a whole new wife. Uh, that's nice. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Did you get a new fire pit? My birthday present. So you told your brother one thirty, right? Yes, Ma. Is that new? Yeah. Not getting too far with it, though. Lovely coloring. You think so? I've actually been trying that blending technique you taught me. I'm having a hard time getting it to come together. The kids are here. We got to do it. Oh, hi. Hi. oh my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hi. Happy birthday, Thank you, Sam. How are you, buddy? like a cow, so. so <laughs> That's brown hair. <laughs> Place looks great, man. Yeah. Thanks. We put a lot of hard work into it. <laughs> Must be nice having time for yard work. <laughs> oh, it is. How about you, man? What's new? You uh, ready for the new baby? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's good. It's great. So how are you feeling? Honestly, I cannot wait for this to be over. I don't know if it's because I have the other two to deal with on top of it, but I am just exhausted with this one. I love having kids, you know? It's just there's like, a, there's never a moment of peace. Well, I work from home most days and it's all 
noise and yowling and whining. And then halfway through the night, I roll over and they're in bed. Kneeing me in the back. I get kneed in the back too. Usually for snoring. At least you have the option of getting laid. Not every night. <sighs> Just most nights. <laughs> It's like I have Kennedy and Sully pawing at me all day long. This one is up all night, kicking me. And then, Joe wants sex. <laughs> yeah, forget it, dude. Honestly, Stell, I'd rather clean the bathroom. You're almost done. You'll get it back. Brian, you know the last time I got laid. I do not know the last time you got laid. What? What? Kate's ooh, seven months pregnant. <laughs> That's rough. Think I'm developing a twitch. <laughs> no matter what, your babies are beautiful. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. They look just like their mama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, dinner's ready. They're sleeping. You're an angel, thank you. Anytime. Kicking. Like crazy. <laughs> so you guys aren't going to tell us whether it's a boy or a girl, huh? <laughs> we don't know. How can we tell you? Yeah, it's the last one, so we thought it would be nice to have a surprise. I think that's sweet. The last one. You don't want an even number. I'm good with three. So, Stells, when are you gonna have one of your own? You know, it's just not for us. You always say that, not for you. How do you know unless you try? Well, it's not like picking an ice cream flavor, Charles. <laughs> oh, come on, give Brian something to live for. Oh, I'm not enough for you to live for? Oh no, that's not what I meant. Of course you were. Are. I... I think what your brother's trying to say is that you just don't understand the unconditional love that a child can bring. You know, like... like you two always gave me. So... we can't have unconditional love in our home. Because we don't have children. No, that is not what I meant. I just You have always been so good with kids, honey. It just seems like a waste for you not to be a mother. Start your family. With all due respect, Charles, there are all kinds of families. And your daughter, she's been my family from the moment I met her. As far as mothering goes, she's a pediatric nurse. So trust me. She mothers more than some women with children. Not you, Kate. Thanks for clearing that up, Brian. Are you sure there isn't just something wrong with one of- Ma! Oh my God, seriously? Yeah, Ma, <laughs> I really don't want to discuss my sister's reproductive organs. Really? So you're the one that brought it up in the first place. Jackass. Gotcha there, Joseph. Are you helping me, babe? Oh, I won't be helping you with anything for a long time. I uh, just wonder what Brian's parents would think of this. No grandchildren. My dead parents? Yeah, they don't have much an opinion on that. You have grandchildren. I realize I have grandchildren. I love them dearly. And I realize your parents are no longer with us. May they rest in peace. What is it, Dad? I just... 
I just think you're being a little selfish. Selfish? Selfish. I'm being selfish. <laughs> this from the man who came home drunk after work every night or just didn't come home at all. Too far, Stella Grace. I went too far. <laughs> Me. I'm so sorry, Mother. God forbid I let a moment go by where I don't try to please you. Lord knows you never had the time to please yourself. Stella! <gasps> Sullivan, Joseph, what do you think you're doing? And why are you touching things that aren't yours? Why are you out of bed? Come on. I am so sorry, Stella. We are buying you a new one. Don't worry about it. You need to apologize to your aunt right now, young man. Sorry, Aunt Stella. It's okay, buddy. Next time you come over, I will teach you how to paint something, okay? Just like Grandma taught me when I was little. Grandma painted. Maybe we could all paint together sometime, eh, Ma? I'd like that. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get the heat off us for a minute. Yeah, well, I'll owe you one. <laughs> you handled that way better than I would have. <laughs> yeah, well, you're with them all the time, so. You're a queen. You are a queen. Okay. I think I just about got that spot out of the rug. Thanks, Ma. I love my girls. Come on, Diana, let's go. I'll have this back in a week. Good as new. You don't have to do that, Dad. Yeah, I do. It's my girls. I really hope you had a nice birthday. I had a great birthday. Thank you. Okay, selfish. I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, Sullivan's birthday party is next month. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. What are we thinking about getting for a gift this year? I'm thinking noisemaker. <laughs> Big, loud noisemaker. With an endless supply and backup batteries. Oh, you're bad. Yeah, I'm the worst. <laughs> I have 
fallen, I have fallen further than I had before. But now I'm crawling, and I don't have the strength to get up off that floor. I'm giving it to it, I'm living in it, embracing all the pain. Can't run from it. Go. Oh. 